Good morning. We are here at McGeeNews.com, and you know, I've been telling y'all for a while that I'm real interested in the people of the city and of our world, because you know, McGee News goes everywhere, to meet our teachers and administrators that are in our county. Well, I am so honored today to have with me Dr. Antoinette Woodall, who is the assistant principal at McGee High School. And um, when I met her, I said to her, the first thing I said, you're so young, <laughs> which is a compliment. But with her credentials and all that she's done, as well as managing a two-year-old, I don't know how. But I'm going to go jump right in to the administration role. How have you liked administration? Is this your first year of administration? This is my first year as an administrator. This is my first assistant principal uh, position. And it's actually been going well. Uh, the kids have been very receptive, and the teachers at McGee High School have been very supportive. Um, so we are working um, and hoping to do great things this year. What are some of the things that you would like to see implemented into our school? I know sometimes as the assistant principal, you're, you have to just, you're, you're following a lead. But what are some things that you feel are so important for you, for children, for students at this age in high school? One thing that I would like to see is I would like to see the students be able to be more engaged and involved in extracurricular activities because we know that the more active they are, the better they do socially and academically because they have a support system to carry them throughout their high school years. In some of my past experiences, um, I've been the student government association coordinator or sponsor and we were able to transform a school based on our student government association and change the culture of the school by giving students exposure to experiences outside of everyday life at our particular school and in our city. Um, we hosted a series of college tours. We've taken, um, we took students to uh, Washington DC as well as New York so that they could tour different colleges and then just have that exposure that they need so they can understand the world is larger than Mississippi. Uh, we also did a couple of college tours in the Memphis Tennessee area as well and of course we <laughs> toured just about every college there was in Mississippi. But students appreciate that and it lets them know that they have opportunities out there that can be afforded to them that can help them be successful, but we know that they need the exposure. I'm so glad that's one of your interests because I think that, you know, a lot of times people, children, students, and adults don't see anything outside of their little world. And if we do not expose them to what's going on in the world and take them on different tours, on different places to see things, some children never get an opportunity to see it at all, to be at all involved with it. What is your actual role at the school? As the, what does the assistant principal do? <laughs> Uh, my role is, of course, to support uh, the head principal and all of her endeavors, but I primarily deal with discipline. I deal with buses, supervision oh, throughout the school day, um, and supporting the teachers in the classroom, making sure that we get in and we see what's going on academically so that we can serve as a support system to those in need. I'm telling you this. If you're working with the buses, you've got my sympathy. We used to, we used to, it's, it's not funny, but it is funny. We would get so tickled. Uh, as most of you know, I have a scanner, and I have the police scanner now, which is a digital, so there are not many around. But our other scanner would pick up Mr. Wayne on the school bus, and we would get so tickled at them trying to get everybody everywhere. But you know what was the neatest thing about it was the care and the consideration and the work. I was so amazed at getting each child where they were supposed to be. To be. And I admire you so much for even figuring out how to do it because I know it's got to be a challenge. It, initially it was, but I think I'm really in sync now and I have some good support people around me that help me uh, with the buses and it's going, it's going okay. <laughs> Bless you. One thing I do have to ask you about, because you mentioned that you were in charge of discipline, or one of the ones in charge of discipline. What are some of your um, views on discipline? How do you feel? Um, what's your avenue of discipline? I believe that good discipline um, is basically helping the students understand the consequences and 
uh, of their actions and behaviors that they exhibit. But I also believe that it goes back to just good classroom teaching. We can minimize discipline problems if uh, we have good classroom teaching going on. And so for me, I understand that following district policy is a must and it's important. And it's important to help the students understand that as well. So that's how I govern myself when I'm dealing with discipline. Quite interesting. Again, if between the school buses and the discipline, <laughs> you've got your hands full. But as you can see, we at McGee School are indeed glad to have and lucky to have someone with the credentials that Dr. Woodall has. I did not give her an opportunity for her to tell you what all she has, so I should do that. Tell us a little bit about um, this is my 11th year in the field of education. I started my career in the Jackson Public School District. I worked a year in the Tennessee school system and then I returned back to Jackson where I finished uh, my teaching career. Um, I transitioned as an academic coach in 2011 uh, to work in my alma mater where we were uh, working with the school improvement grant that was awarded to our school district for my particular school. Um, I've done academic coaching for language arts, I've done dual enrollment instructor for Heinz Community College, um, I've also done library media specialist at Wingfield High School as well, and I am an adjunct instructor at Jackson State University. Well, I don't think I have to say much else because you are quite qualified, well-rounded, and McGee is fortunate. I hope you'll continue to learn about our teachers, give them your support, and keep up with things that are happening at McGee High School.